For me, being a Conservative is actually more than just belonging to a political party with a set of policies. It's actually a way of life for me. For me, it, it means having a sense of duty towards other people. Uh, it means being charitable, being generous with your time, and also having empathy for other people's issues and concerns and trying to help people in the best way you can. The current arrangement simply isn't good enough. Hazel Grove has a weak voice in Westminster. In order to make a difference for the local area, I want to serve in the governing party batting for Hazel Grove and to be first in the queue when it comes to the big national policy making decisions that could have a real effect in this area. The only way to do that is by voting for a Conservative MP and a Conservative government that can work together to give the best possible deal for Hazel Grove. The current MP may mean well, but we simply are not getting our voice heard in Westminster. I'm here in Hazel Grove and I've just met Annesley, the Conservative candidate, and I must say he's a very charming and delightful man. The Conservatives believe in devolution of uh, responsibility for schools, hospitals and individuals, greater freedom for the individual. So I hope you vote Conservative and I hope you vote for Annesley. He certainly has my vote. I am passionate about action. My website is Action Abercorn. The reason why I did that is because I get very impatient about things not getting done. I want to see doctors and nurses and teachers control the destiny of their services and their families and their future. I'm just pulling up here because I'm going to this shop, it's one of my favourite shops, so they do the most fantastic pies and I'm absolutely starving so I'm going to go in there now. I've been knocking on so many doors recently and people always say to me how they feel frightened to go out at night, they don't think there's enough police on the street, they don't think that they're getting value for money in terms of their council tax which goes up year on year, Stockport has one of the highest levels of council tax in the Greater Manchester area, they're finding it very difficult to make ends meet in terms of their day to day bills, household bills, fuel, food. They simply aren't getting any answers from Gordon Brown and the Labour Party and they're certainly not getting anything from, from the Lib Dems. We just want to um, say how grateful we are for Annas Lee for giving us local support um, for our pubs. Uh, obviously the current climate's a bit tricky at the moment and we really do appreciate it as he's actually the only person that's helping us around here at the moment. So we need to we continue to give our support and hopefully we can get the trade up and running again back in the Marple area. It's very important that we preserve our local pubs because they're very much the heart of the local community. It's part of our way of life and it's a great place to meet people, to socialise, to have fun. All sorts of people uh, come to pubs like this from all age ranges and it would be a great shame uh, if we lose that. So I very much hope that we can preserve as many pubs as possible. This is David Cameron, leader of the Conservative Party, here in Hazel Grove, supporting Annesley Abercorn. He will be a great member of Parliament. He's fighting a really hard campaign. He's got this great bus you can see behind me, which he's using to get out and meet with local people and respond to their problems and their challenges to do a really great job for Hazel Grove. I hope you'll back him in his campaign. I am a committed patriot, I love this country, it is our values, our traditions, our institutions, our culture, our way of life that have defined me and had a huge impact on me when I was growing up and I want to see these things preserved for future generations. We need to boost our own manufacturing and innovation and restore some kind of pride in our recommend? country and, and stop being a country that always apologises but a country that is never afraid to fly the flag and be proud of its people and its heritage. I've just been to uh, this butcher's, it's really good to see a local business like that thriving. Hi, um, I'd just like to say a few things for Ainsley for his support over the past two years with Hazel Grove Carnival. He's been um, a tremendous help, he's presented the girls with the sashes and the tiaras and it's nice to see somebody to actually pay an interest in the carnival which we don't often get, especially in Hazel Grove. He will be supporting us again this year, so you can always come and see him on the day. And he's also doing a walk from Buxton to Hazel Grove with us um, to help raise much needed funds. 
Yeah, there's lots of what we call street furniture, and as a vision impaired person, you know, you would find it a great difficulty to move through that on your own. I only experienced a few seconds of, of what it must be like to be a blind person with a guide dog, and they are absolutely invaluable uh, in that situation. I think it's important for members of the community to pull together and really help clean up a local area because the thing is if you leave these things lying around it just attracts more rubbish, people don't care about the area and the place becomes much worse. Hazel Grove constituency is a very diverse area. The name Hazel Grove doesn't actually do it justice because it is actually a collection of lots of different villages. There's Breadbury and Romilly, uh, there's Marple and Comstall and Strines. There are all sorts of different uh, villages within, within the area and you also have very remote beautiful rural areas such as um, the area around Marple Bridge. It's a very diverse place um, and it makes the challenge even more exciting and to be the MP here would be a real privilege. I'm 18 years old and I'm looking forward to voting for the first time. We need change in Hazel Grove and I believe Annesley is the person to do that. I find politicians very boring and out of touch, but now that I've met Annesley, I am confident he'll be able to deliver for me and the people in this area. Hi folks, your candidate for Hazel Grove is Annesley Abercall. I've known Annesley for years. He's an extremely bright, able, talented young politician, exactly the kind of person we need to deliver the change that Britain so desperately deserves. Vote for Abercorn in May. Please give him your support.